You ever notice how women always have these long horror stories when it comes to any form of relationship, whether it be intimate or platonic? Oh, I never had a female friend over two years because they be hating. Oh, all my relationships was trash because they just didn't know how to handle a woman like me. Hmm? But then you ask men, oh, you know, my last relationship trash, homegirl was crazy, whatever, whatever, they work. But I had this uh, this ex back when I was 16, 17, and she was a great woman, but I messed up. I, I couldn't value that. And then they have friendships for over decades. Why do you think that is? Yeah. Because as long as you cool, we cool. If you genuine, men are cool. It's no problem. Men don't look for situations off of conditions. It's women. Women either want to fuck with you for financial gain or for the aesthetic because you look good. You look good to hang around. Mm. Huh? Women be the problem. What's up, lovers? How are you doing today? Today, I am making a video about eight toxic traits that women crave for. You know, we were always talking like, oh, he's toxic, uh, uh, uh. Yes, but them bitches be liking toxicity. So if you have those... So, I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I've been running past her videos a lot, but I never watched them. You feel me? So I, I just thought about it. I said, you know what? I'm gonna react to this and see what my people think. Because this is a female, a fairly, a, not my, a fairly attractive female. I was gonna say something, but she's unattractive female and I, and she's explaining how basically to get female so some traits so let's see what she's talking about let's see if she hitting the nail on the head or if she you feel me just that qualities it might help you actually so before we start, I created a Patreon at www.patreon.com slash Monaco. So you can go over there, check me out. I also have memberships on this YouTube channel. I hope you check me out on that too. All right. So now, what are those traits? Because them bitches be a little, um, you know, a little, not all, but some. So those toxic traits, traits, I can say it. Those toxic traits are actually attractive to some women. So I'm sure you already got some of those. All right, let's go. Number one, act standoffish slash stoicism. Yes. So, you know, a That's lot That's low-key not toxic, though. Just not always giving your all, but just like, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know what I'm saying? Just chilling out a little bit. That definitely works when it comes to female. But some dudes, they be texting 24-7. Trust me, like, I was, like, long time ago. Trust me, I, I've been through it all. I know. I know, because I was once that guy, you know? Men want what they can have, and just you acting like standoffish, acting like you don't even see her, acting like you don't even mm -hmm. give a fuck, is gonna make her want you even more. Emotionless, like, you know, nothing can move you. She's gonna be like, well, them other guys, when I do this, or when I don't show them, uh, you know? And the fact that it's not gonna work on you, and you're still gonna act like, bitch, I don't even see you, it's gonna drive her crazy. You just look like a bad boy, kind of. And because, you know, bad boys can be locked down, it's attractive to bitches. Number two, be unavailable. You might just be sitting at the house or you might have a hundred bitches, so you are really unavailable. But that, again, is gonna drive women crazy. Especially women who get a lot of attention. They're it's really like, just being busy. Women are attracted to men who's busy. So if you got your stuff going on, you working on your purpose, you grinding, doing your thing, and, and, and she see that it automatically makes her attracted to you because all of your time is not on her. You feel me? But once all of your time just goes to a female, it automatically sparks unattractivity. You know what I'm saying? how he's not acting like the other guys. That's gonna fuck up her mind, and she's gonna be like, okay, well, I gotta make the effort. In a way, you're putting the ball in her court. Bitch, yeah, I, I showed you a little bit, now I'm not showing you, or I'm not really available. Now you gotta reach out to me and try to get me out of the house. Flip the script, watch. As soon as a woman is putting a lot more effort than you do, that's when she's not gonna be able to handle like the rejection, and she's gonna wanna be with you even more. Number three, I don't think this is a toxic one, but sometimes it, it can be. So you guys can be overly passionate, like about anything, like MMA, soccer, basketball, uh, your family, and you're so unapologetic about it. You're like, I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna talk about what I'm passionate about. And people who are passionate about stuff, when they talk about it, it's like, you know, you have this fire and 
other people are gonna be drawn to you because it's attractive. And women are gonna take it as like, well, if he's that passionate about this, if he's passionate about me, how much he's gonna talk about me, how much he's gonna be on, on my dick, and women are gonna think that's gonna translate to your relationship with her if you guys get in a relationship. So that's very attractive to women. And it can be about anything, guns, tattoos, music, cars, anything. Just the fact that you're passionate about something is something that's gonna draw other people in. It inspire people to see how open you are about your, your passion. And also, hopefully what you're talking about might be something that she's passionate about too, and that's gonna be even easier for you to bond. Number four, um, I know it's, I'm, I'm telling you a bunch of bad shit today, but be difficult. Yes, bitches don't like it if you're too easy. No, be difficult because they are used to motherfuckers being so easy going. And I'm telling you, easy going is for me. I want easy going. Yeah, she, she, hey, she hitting the nail on the head, bro. She giving you the game. Is she a female? So she know that, you feel me? So she's telling you basically what to work on her. You hear me? So, hey. But somebody that's difficult to a lot of bitches, they're gonna be like, why, why? They keep on comparing because life is easier for women. They get what they want on a regular. So you being difficult is gonna trigger her mind and be like, okay, I need to get him. Mm. Instead of just being like, okay, fuck you, you're difficult. No, they're gonna come even more for you. Also the thing that it does, it makes bitches wonder wait did i do something wrong was i supposed to do it in a different way like and just like this you're keeping her on her toes at all times number five another toxic one or maybe not be aggressive yeah when i'm talking about be aggressive it's be aggressive towards your life towards your goals towards your passion towards your money towards your family your happiness and also like in the bedroom you know in the bedroom we want you to be a little aggressive. You need to read the room, like I say all the time, because some girls are not so much into like, oh, you're a little too rough, you know? But being aggressive is usually a good choice because it shows masculinity and that's what women are looking for. Because you know, if we're in the bedroom and you gotta ask me, so what do you wanna do? Do you like this position? Do you want, I'm gonna be like, what the fuck are you talking about? Just fucking do it. So it's a certain level of being aggressive. Don't go overboard, obviously. Number six toxic trait is be unapologetically authentic. Yes, that's a big one for the bad boy. So if you wanna be a bad boy, this is the one you need to nail. Bad boys tend to be very genuine. They tend to say whatever they want, whatever they're thinking, just because, because they don't care. They're like, that's who I am. I need to speak my mind, I'm speaking. They kind of do whatever they want, like nobody can stop them. And they do that regardless of what other people think. So even if it's not the popular choice, if that's how you feel, you're like, yeah, I'm doing that because that's what I want to do. And women are very attractive to, to that. It also shows that you're not a follower and that you're gonna go with what your guts is telling you. By doing that, you remain centered and focused regardless of what the society is telling you you should be or you should do. Trust me, that is a refreshing quality that shows a lot of strength and a lot of status within itself. It takes a lot to be yourself without the consideration of opinions. Just try to think of somebody that you feel is really authentic. It's really memorable, mysterious, and very exciting. And you know, women love mystery. And they love excitement too. So it's just very intriguing because of its uniqueness. A lot of people, you know, they're like, eh, they're a little too shy, or they're kind of like, they want to be liked by everybody. So they're not gonna go and really follow what they are. They're gonna follow the trend and follow what looks good and what they think people are gonna enjoy. No, be yourself. Do what the fuck you want and don't apologize for it. Number seven trait that uh, may be a little toxic if you overdo it, but having a strong opinion. You're strong-minded and you're very assertive. To me, it's not bad. But some people overdo it and some women crave for that shit. So, you know, if you're strong-minded and nobody can tell you nothing, some women are really attractive to that. I don't personally like it to when it's like too much, when it's like, I can't tell you nothing, you know everything. I'm like, uh, I know you don't know everything. Yeah, well, what I you can't. gotta be is obviously you gotta be confident in your abilities, but also be humble enough to listen to anyone. You feel what I'm saying? That'll make 
that'll definitely make you more attractive to women. Like if you, she know you confident, she know you, uh, you feel me, you, you a hard charger, but at the same time you can heed your ear and just listen. You feel me? Ain't nothing wrong with doing that. You feel me? Teach you a little thing or two, but <laughs> hey. So don't overdo it, but some women they're like, oh, he knows everything. My my man knows everything. Go for it. And number eight, being independent. Yes, you're not needy, you're not clingy, and um, you know, again, that, that really works for you dealing with a certain type of woman because they're gonna feel like again you're not that available you're gonna have her wondering does he really like me like why he's not seeing me so often because i'm telling you as a woman we don't want you to need us really we want you to want us because it's like kind of like a kid you need your mom you you need her you know but um as a woman yeah maybe you need me you know for love and affection and all that shit. but like if i feel like you're too much on me uh, like it's it's not a good look i am telling you that's why you need to make sure you have your own life you have your own hobbies you have your own passion not saying that you can't share a hobby together but you need to have your own shit going on for yourself all right so that's all i have hey, for you guys fact, today bro. those were eight but y'all tell me what y'all think about that in the comments man if y'all want to see some more melee melee monaco you know i know she pleasant to look at so some of y'all gonna be like yeah bring her back bring her back might mess around and get her for real on the channel you think yeah you think that uh, that'll be cool but yeah but hey man tell me what y'all think about the video like i say in the comments and hey be safe out there kings let's get it